Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I want to teach you how to make a pop-up window while playing. In the last tutorial I showed you how to change scenes, but perhaps you have a level or people just want to quit during the game. You want to press escape and a small window pops up, a small menu in which you can just pick uh, to go to the main menu, restart the level perhaps, or just exit the game. So let's get into it. I've set up the scene. I'm just going to use the scene from last time in which we also change the scene to another level. And first of all, what we need is within um, Playmaker, you can go to components and add the Playmaker GUI. Um, and here we're going to make add some, let's say, user interface items. The first one which I want to add is an image and by default it will make a canvas and it's always a little bit strange but the canvas will show on top of your level like this. Now you can see the image here is white and perhaps we call this the menu box. The menu box and within the menu box uh, we want to let's say place an image which makes this box. So we just drag in here a, a, let's say, a picture which I've already created. So make sure to create the picture for your box. Um, I also pre-made a button for, or let's say, a picture which is called exit, one with main menu, one with restart level. So make sure to make those in advance. So once you have this box added, make sure to set it to native size, which is very big but it's okay. Within the menu box, then I want to add the three other pictures, or let's say the three other options. We're just going to go UI. I'm just gonna add an image again. Just gonna drag in exit here, set native size, scroll this down a bit. Um, call this also exit. Then I'm just gonna add another image. And this will be the restart level one. Set native side. Uh, I see the X is a little bit bigger, but we can of course scale this if we want to. Um, we're also going to just call this restart. And we're going to add one more image, which will be the main menu box. Set native side. We're just gonna pull this up. So if we zoom out a little bit, we can see the whole box with main menu restart and exit, which is nice. Though if I go to game now, you can see it covers the whole screen. And this is not what we want. So let's just select the menu box and scale it a little bit. Perhaps 0.3 and 0.3 on the y x let's go to the game so it's still quite a little bit big can make it a little bit smaller here we can actually see now so there we go which is also nice what we could do is in the color we make it a little bit transparent if we click on the menu box and we go color we for example can just drag this a little bit here make it a little bit transparent in game and well, there we have to set up. I don't really like that the exit is much bigger. So I'm just gonna scale this down a notch. That was uh, just badly designed from my side. So I'm sure you can do this better. Of course, I should also not forget to name this one. It's the main menu. And perhaps I wanna put this in the right order so that actually makes sense. Right. Now, to make the menu, let's say, pop into the screen or out of the screen, um, I have to add a Playmaker finite state machine. So let's add this right away. And how I wanna go around is, is that once you press a key on the keyboard, um, the menu will pop up. And once you press it again, it will go away. There's two ways to go about this. Uh, the first one is to just make here an action which is called 
get key down. And you can actually just select the key here, escape. So let's just, let's say push escape. But you could also make an action is, which is called get button down. And the get button down is an option in which you can go to your, let's say project settings here. And in the input manager, you can preset certain features. For example, I have here a menu button, which is, let's say, coupled to escape. And you can also, let's say, put an alternative button um, if you want to use a joystick or anything. Right, for this purpose, I'm just gonna go with the get key down. All right, so once the get key down is pressed, I wanna finish and then I wanna add a state to move the menu box, move box. And currently the menu box is still in the middle of the screen, but I'm just gonna move it out later. But to move the box, I'm just gonna set property and we used this trick before in another tutorial. I'm just going to slide in here in the menu box. And I'm going to go to transform. I'm going to go to position. No, I'm going to go to local position in this case. Sometimes if you use position, it might give you another value back. And this position I'm going to set to zero. I'm just going to finish then. And then once I press escape again, I'm just going to copy paste. They press no, I don't want this to be the default state. Just and then also copy paste this one. If I press escape again, I want the box to move out. Let's say I'm going to just put it at an absurd high value for 2000. Somebody should have a really big screen that it still shows up. I'm just going to Put this back. Let's go in the scene one second. Um, the starting position should also be that, let's say, 2000. And if we now go into the game, let's see if this actually works. And just, I'm going to press Escape on my keyboard. And as you can see, it moved the box exactly to the center. Press again, and it's gone. So that's actually very nice and it's working well. So, but currently if I go to the menu, of course nothing will work. So for each button, I should also have a separate function. So let's make those. Now, of course my menu is all the way up here. One thing which is nice to do is actually to go add component and make this a button. And what is nice, if you make it a button, you can make give it a highlight color. For example, I'm going to make it red once my mouse is over it. And the normal color is just the same. And if I press it, I'm going to make it orange or something. And the fade duration 0 0.1 is fine. So I'm going to do the same with restart. Um, I'm going to add a button. Normal highlight red. Um, press color orange. Now I'm a little bit inconsistent. Of course, I should just get the color code here. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to finish it like this. <laughs> Once again, button highlight color red. Press color let's make it orange. And if I go now, let's say, and look in game, and get the menu down, go with my mouse over it, it will just turn red, which is nice. And if I click it, the color changes. See? It changed shortly. And of course, I can change this fade, but usually something will happen. So you don't really need this pressed color because you're going back to the menu, the level will restart, or you will exit. All right, so the next step is to actually add a function to do these features. 
So for each button, I'm just going to make a own finite state machine. And for this one, I want the UI click. Does that make any sense? UI on point to click event. So I'm just going to use the mouse for this one. And the target should be self. The fan target self. So if I click here and on point to event, I just want to finish. And I'm going to add a state. Change theme. And here I'm just going to go to the load scene, which I also used uh, in my last tutorial, and by name, and it's going to be main menu. I hope it's called main menu actually. And on success, I just want to finish it to go back so that my menu keeps working once I get back into this level. So that's for the main menu, and I'm just want to check now is it actually main menu it's called main menu the scene so you actually need a scene which is called main menu obviously all right um, for the restart button it's actually very simple there is a feature first of all I need to of course the on click UI button on click event had finished I'm just going to add a state and you can just do restart level, restart current level. It's great. Well, I'm just going to go into finish and to go back. And for exit, also add a state machine. As you can see, I'm not really naming my uh, states, which is not really good. You should, of course, always name your states. Which is, of course, here to click. And once you click, we go finish. We add a state. And this state is going to be exit. And also for this one, in Playmaker, there is a, a quit application. Quit quits the player application. Uh, you don't really need a finish state here because once it's quit, then the game stops completely. Now let's go into the game and see actually if these ones tests or if these actually work. All right, so I'm walking and I'm kind of bored with the game. I'm gonna press escape and I actually want to restart. Oops, you can see that I forgot to push the finish, finish event here. All right, I'm kind of being a little bit sloppy. It's going to put here finished. So actually, at any state, you pretty much need to have a finish event right away. Let's check here as well. This is also the click, change scene, restart. We're going to do restart for exit we're gonna exit so restart once i click to present the finish event and go to restart let's try once again apologies and restart level and it's back menu is still working and i'm back I'm gonna go to the menu i'm gonna press escape again menu is gone I'm going to go to the main menu and the music is playing for the main menu. And finally, we have the exit button. Also here, I noticed that I forgot to put the send event. Let's press play and test if this one works. And usually a quit application doesn't really work. When testing in Unity, you actually have to build your game to test it. But as you see, this event worked and it should have, let's say, quit the application. Great!
So there we have it. We have now a menu with which you can play, play around. And with the same principle, you can make a main menu. I can, of course, show this in a separate video. But hopefully this helped you. Uh, leave your comments and, of course, uh, please subscribe if you're interested in more videos. I will try to update uh, videos, make new videos, make some new content at least once a week. So stick around and see you next time. Cheers.